Hi, this is George Foshan of BestPalosVerdesHomes.com, and in one of my trade journals today, I noticed there was an article in which they reported on Lawrence Yoon's latest findings. Lawrence is the chief economist for the National Association of Realtors, and what is being reported is that pending home sales, a forward-looking indicator. Uh, is rapidly escalating uh, nationally. In fact, they're finding that sales are 8% more in January of 2015 relative to January in 2014. Um, if you scroll down the article a little bit, you can see that there's a link to the National Association of Realtors report, and here you'll be able to get more uh, data if you really want to dig into the weeds, as it were. But one of the interesting things that I'm finding is that that's not so much the case with the South Bay. Uh, we're finding that pending sales are actually decreasing and prices are rapidly increasing. Now, why are pending sales decreasing? Well, part of it is because there are slightly fewer people that are able to afford property to buy when prices are uh, rising. Uh, even though interest rates are very, very low. I don't really think that's so much the driving factor. I think what really is the driving factor for the reason that pending sale volume is down is because listing volume is down. In fact, listing volume is down a lot. Um, no matter how you cut the market, price range, property category, whether it's homes from a million to a million five or a million five to two or condos or townhomes, single-family residences, across the board, I'm finding that in the, in, in the last 90 days, listing volume is down anywhere from 35 to 70 percent. So with uh, a fewer properties coming to market to be even available for sale, uh, it's no wonder that we're finding that pending uh, sale volume is down. So that's the status of the market today in the South Bay. Less inventory, higher prices. Thanks for listening, and tune in again soon. This is George Foshan of BestPalosVerdesHomes.com, signing off for now. Bye.